Hi, this is Joe. I'm the owner of the Small Wood Shop located in Butler, Pennsylvania. And I've gotten several emails from uh, beginning woodworkers wanting to know what is what tools they should start out with in their shop. And a lot of it has to do with your budget and the space you have. This is a two-stall garage, so I'm kind of limited in space. I would suggest that anything you buy be on casters so you can move it around. Now, if you have a nice, big, de dedicated building, that would be really nice. You could have fixed tools. The workhorse of the any wood shop is the table saw. Now, I made the mistake of going out and buying one of these little contractor dinky saws. and I used it for about a year, and it had a lot of drawbacks. There just isn't enough surface area to handle larger pieces. The smaller saw would not accept a very big dado blade. I can put a full size 7 8 dado blade in here. The other thing is safety. Everything around this saw, you got to put safety first. This saw came with two plates. This is for the dado blade. This is for the regular blade, but I put a, what's called a zero tolerance uh, insert in there because Smaller pieces can get down into this groove and then you're going to have uh, safety issues, kick back and things just getting out of control. This is a sear saw I paid six, seven hundred dollars for it a couple of years ago. It's been a wonderful saw. Uh, it's belt driven, that's another thing you want to get. Uh, get a couple horsepower saw that won't bog down into the work. Um, You'll notice in front of the saw, the first accessory you want to get is, that's a roller adjustable. And you never want to be taking a piece of wood, long piece, that's hanging out over there, and you're trying to keep it from falling, and you're reaching over the blade. Never reach over the blade. I've been hurt twice in six years, and each time it's because I reached over the, the blade, and you should never do it. You can buy many safety features with your saw. Uh, this is a manufactured feather board. Fits in the groove and keeps the wood tight against the blade and keeps it from kicking back. You can also build one. The other thing on saws, if you get on YouTube and look, there are so many things you can make with a saw. I seen a guy once place a pin down here and he cut a circular tabletop out of a table saw. I see another guy take a square piece of stock and he makes his own dowel rods. There are many things you can do with this piece of equipment. As you know, it tilts to any angle you want to make angle cuts. You can also buy all sorts of items to help you push the material through the blade. Don't use your hands. On a real wide piece, you can, if you're far enough from the blade, but if you're cut something one inch, push it through, keep your hand away from the blade. Once you get your saw in and set up, then you can go back online and you can just find jigs galore to make. This is my jig for a 45 and it is accurate. I took my time, set it up right. It is just a wonderful jig. This one here is to make pins for, I make wooden hinges and this is what I use. Just a simple jig, I got the idea from somebody online, either Norm or David Marks or it goes on and on, or the woodsmith shop. Uh, this is a wonderful jig also. The fence, you can upgrade and get a better fence. This is. What I have to do with this fence is it, this keeps getting out of an alignment and you won't be cutting square. So every now and then you got to put a, set it up, tighten it down, and then measure over to one of the grooves here that's in the table and readjust your fence. About once a month I have to turn the screws and readjust the fence. They make higher fences and you can spend as much money as you want at the fence. And, uh, I'd like to have a better fence, but you know, it just comes down to money. 
The other thing, I put a little utility shelf on the side here, it fits in the groove, and I just usually have way too many things in it. But uh, keep all my push sticks. This is my favorite push stick right here. That's, that's the workhorse of the push sticks. So it's the table saw is your first thing you, you should buy. And, and take your time, save a little money, and buy a quality uh, table saw. If you need be, put, have it on caster so you can move it around. And that's the first thing you'll need. Next thing you'll need, you can use, like everyone, you can start out with a shop vac, but you're eventually going to have to get a good dust control system. Uh, you can't see the end of this, but it's uh, mounted on the shelf. It's a wall mount with a big bag on. Plenty of horsepower uh, to keep the dust from flying everywhere. Uh, if you notice in the front, I even have an extra port here uh, that I can hook a shock back also. And I've done that. I've run both of them at the same time to, uh, to try to keep the dust down because dust is a real pain. 